Hello YouTube, Tim here. With this bow tag bow, I guess you could call it. That's what it was meant for. It's <coughs> excuse me. In the style of a Magyar or Hungarian bow, reflexed at the handle, slightly deflexed in the limbs, and recurved at the tips at the sias. The brace height right now is on the low side. That's perfect. Okay, so this is the upper limb, this is the lower limb. And here we have some arrows. Let's go and shoot. Sorry about the wind. Oh, that's only 25 pounds. However, it can be drawn quite a bit farther than 28 inches, so that helps efficiency-wise, but holy cow! That's nice. Longbows typically, in my experience, don't perform very well due to the extra weight at the tips, but I don't think anybody told this bow that it's not supposed to perform well. I'm consistently shooting left which tells me the arrows are spined a bit too high, but it's fairly quick. I'm going to step back a little bit now. Heck yeah. All right, fantastic. So I was worried that this bow wouldn't turn out quite well, quite as nicely as I was hoping for, but Good golly, Miss Molly. 54 inches tip to tip, knocks one inch in. With that profile, it's shooting pretty darn good. Congratulations to me, I guess, and congratulations to the uh, the customer. I hope they enjoyed this bow. I'm gonna be finishing it up in a nice pattern with, uh, I think, wood grain. Anyway, wow, wow. So get the arrows that are spined for it. I've, I know carbon is usually pretty forgiving. Bamboo is usually pretty forgiving. But with the low poundage, you're going to want something that's fairly on the uh, low spine side for arrows. But as far as how it's moving them, that's positive. And these are all about 15 to 20 grains per pound. So I see nothing wrong with that. Thanks for watching, YouTube.